Greetings, one and all. Greetings, today is the... It's Tuesday. <laughs> um, it's another day, it's another now, it's, it's right now. And Thanksgiving, time to give thanks. And such a surge of energy that's been happening recently. It's quite a spectacular time, quite a unique time. It feels as if um, over the past year or two years there's been a distortion in time calibration, particularly in regard to our perception of time. And there was this whole rush to 2012 being this place, this time of, of conversion or this time of um, um, opening and of course it was a summons to that but it feels very much like this is happening now it feels as if there has been um, a conversion of time and space whereby so many people have gone whoop, into this new space and it's bringing so much joy and so much um, oneness and so much light and so much um, wonderment. Um, so many um, wormhole, wormholes, so many wormholes, so many vortexes have opened up, so many doorways where information is being transmitted and it feels as if this is the time now where we are being expanded, where we are being downloaded with, a, with, with light and sound information, but not light and sound in the physical sense, but in the metaphysical sense, which is having an amazing effect on our bodies, on our psyche. And it is um, um, creating um, spontaneous releases of new codes that are being expanded within our DNA and our energetic body and it's happening from the inside out and it's pushing way beyond the physical body into our auric fields and what is going to happen is as we expand as far as our auric fields and beyond then we tune completely tune into oneness and we literally become lighter and for many years, I really believed that the whole idea of enlightenment was um, um, about carrying light and holding light. It is that. But I think in terms of moving from denser energies, it's really been about releasing the load, releasing what is holding us down, which is keeping us in bondage so by lightening up as in weight releasing the weight releasing the 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 moral confines um, the aspects that have hooked us into duality that have hooked us into fear that have hooked us into attachment <laughs> so as we unhook as we unplug and as we offload, release the, the excess baggage and all the baggage that we don't really need to be holding, we feel lighter. And then that allows for, it, 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 it creates space. And we feel more spacious. And as we feel lighter, and as we feel that we have more space within us, then that transmits to our outer world, we feel that we have more space around us, and of course our thoughts are far less cl cluttered too. So this is quite an extraordinary time. So many things are happening, so many openings that are happening, so many transmissions, so many um, um, alignments that are happening within our own solar system and within the galaxy and the universe, whereby if you imagine the dots to dots and <clears throat> as we um, start connecting the dots then we actually begin to um, um, create constellations and actually these dots are stars, they're stargates 
and as we as these stargates are connected they open up exponentially into one uh, through one stargate to the next and and we open up to these to these incredible um, openings of um, information and light and um, of course our starry brethren and these beings that are now have access and it's interesting because also a few people have been talking about this pretty much and this is an uncommon dialogue many people don't talk like talk about things like this but the truth of the matter is as we move into this into fourth and fifth dimension or density we are the ones we are now open to receive and connect with these beings as well as connect with each other there is no difference the only reason why we're able to connect with them is because we are now um, um, expanded beyond third density and third dimension and we are able to um, um, activate our inner technology there is no machine out there that will be able to do this for you by design we have inner technology that is now being awakened and activated <laughs> and how beautiful is that how beautiful are you how amazing is that to know that we have inner technology and uh, we just need to uh, be still enough to receive this information. And as I put in one of my posts earlier, some of this, a lot of this information is also coming through sound. And this is sound that is heard in the inner ear rather than the outer ear. And um, um, it is fractal in nature, it is holographic which allows us then to connect exponentially through dimensions. Mm. Mm. So I'd like to thank everyone also for their love. Um, and as my beautiful friend Julight always says, I am another you and you are another me and we are here to reflect ourselves to each other. There is no you and I, there is an us. That's all there is. And as soon as, as, as we continue to expand into this us-ness, into this allness, in the words, we step into the universal paradox. And the term that comes to mind is where the drop becomes the ocean and the ocean becomes the drop. The masculine becomes the feminine and the feminine becomes the, ma the, 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 the masculine. Dark becomes light and light becomes dark. And one would think that these things are separate and, and in isolation, but in actual fact, they are one of the same, two sides of the same coin. And as we expand our consciousness, which in a way is common sense, um, but we have been asleep. This is our, this is our remembrance. Not only our remembrance in terms of who we are, but as we awaken to the truth of what is. And it's very simple, it's actually quite elementary. We are moving through and beyond our adolescence now into maturity into adulthood. We have been in adolescence now for a really long time and we as a species we are evolving and we are not evolving by the external technology necessarily. We are evolving through our internal technology by actually understanding the oneness within duality. Duality is shifting duality is shifted, in fact has shifted. And for those of us who are recognizing this, we are seeing this in each other and there's a sense of now wanting to come together. And it's funny because as I connect more with people who are having this experience, we are sharing the same words. So quite clearly we are receiving the same transmissions and expanding in, in exactly the same way. It feels like Christmas. It feels like 
Independence Day feels like New Year's Eve. It feels like um, a birthday. It feels like a new day. There's something magnificent that has happened and is happening and is opening exponentially. It's a beautiful and divine state of light and grace that is opening up our hearts. And another thing that I wanted to say is that one thing that I'd really encourage you to do is to drink lots of water and, it, and to eat high vibrational foods <laughs> and raw foods if you can. And um, I've been eating a lot of raw chocolate and it is really expanding into that sense of well-being. There are certain foods that are going to dampen this vibration. So be watchful and be careful with that. I'm going to leave this with you. Let's take a deep breath. And as we breathe in, breathe into your fullness. Breathe into your fullness, and as we breathe out, feel your auric field expand even further. Know this to be true. Feel your heart opening up. Ground, 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 ground. Because many people now are um, connecting with other states other dimensional states and it's so important to be grounded and to remain grounded during this time. Okay? Um, I love you. I see the goddess in you. I see the god goddess merged within you. The perfect androgen being the perfect androgen soul spirit as we were before incarnating into this planet as we remember, now remember ourselves to be an alchemical melting pot of elixirs that swirl within us the tantric light, the tantric source of the universe, our makeup. <laughs> well, I wish you well. Namaste. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy now. Happy now. Be here now. Receive this gift. Open up and receive. Make sure your antennas are open. This frequency is being downloaded in a variety of different ways. So all we need to do is receive. <laughs> these heavenly sounds, these heavenly colors, spectrum, refracted light, refracted light information. I love you. Namaste. Love. <laughs> mm.